fun. Okay, so let's talk about anchoring the boat. The boat draws five feet, and at the steering helm with the electronics on, there is a depth finder uh, right on the binnacle. You can read the depth, it's pretty accurate. So a couple things about anchoring on this lake. Um, I like to try to drive the boat watching the depth finder to get to around uh, 12 feet, maybe 10 feet of depth. That usually means pretty close to the shoreline. Uh, a couple things specifically about the shoreline. A lot of this lake is, uh, the shoreline is fairly steep. So what sometimes you will find if you approach a shoreline and attempt to anchor, if you're in a steep section of water where the, the shore, the, the underwater is, is steep, your anchor can sometimes just hit that and trip and not easily anchor. So it's, you may have to try more than once. What you're really looking for is something that's flat and gradual. If you're next to a steep hillside, uh, you can expect trouble getting the anchor to bite. Um, in terms of anchoring procedure, what I like to do is approach, um, approach the, the shallow area by reading the depth finder. You can turn the boat into the wind, the prevailing wind uh, that's coming to you. Find your shallow spot, uh, throw the anchor out, and then back down on the anchor uh, using three or four to one scope. So in 12 feet of water, you want about 40 feet of uh, anchor. And it's actually marked on the road. There are red and green and yellow markers for the length of anchor chain. So if I approached an area that was 10 feet, I stop the boat, I throw the anchor out, I back down, I let the anchor chain out.